two, three, four. What's up Jibble people, welcome to this lesson. This is gonna be a fun one. Uh, short song, just like the previous video I did. Four chords, but a really interesting way to play these four chords. Uh, something you can really learn from this lesson is the way that they borrow notes from the previous chord to play the next chord. Let me just explain that quickly. So on the B minor and the G major seven, you'll see they share notes. So the B minor is like a B minor seven. You've probably played this chord before. And then if you move your index finger up here, you keep these two fingers here, so they keep the notes from the B minor. And that actually makes this new chord a G major 7. So... A, a very, very interesting move to do, and, and a lot of indie music follows the same rules. Let's say if you have an indie song within the key of D, you often get the, the D chord with the G in the bass like. So I'm going to a G chord but I'm keeping the D in the in the notes. So that, that gives a really unique sound. So let's start with the chords B minor, G, and then the D is like a C shape, C shape moved up two frets now you can play a normal d and then you just have to adapt the picking pattern slightly but we'll get into that now so this is the toughest chord of the lot okay it's pretty tough and then the next chord is a6 so this is the second interesting thing of the song it's not a usual a like you'll find in this progression it's a a6 so it's got an a with a sixth note in the a scale one two three four five six the sixth note gives a chord the sad overtone. Like if you have an A minor, and if you had a G with the sixth note, and an F with the sixth note, back to a G with the sixth note. Sounds a lot different than if you would just play the normal. Here's the with the sixth. different tone so this a with the sixth note gives us like this kind of f sharp minor sound because this note is f sharp minor so it's got kind of a minor and a major chord combined that's it they have the b minor and this major seven has got kind of this and the a chord would have been too happy here listen but if you change it to the a6 just like grooving it's just like ah it's just beautiful okay so download the pdf this four chord song the picking pattern is pretty simple i'll quickly show it to you it's just one loop thing let's put it up there and b minor so you start with the, the bass by itself and then you pinch these two strings and then you play the third string with the index finger That's the rhythm. Now with the G major chord, you're obviously moving the green one, the root note, with the bass. Boom, that's it. Pretty short tutorial, but it's an amazing song and it's very easy to play. Just loop those chords. Have a nice day. Peace.